I absolutely love throwing a bladed jig. It is such a deadly tool for all different types of water, no matter if you're fishing in creeks, rivers, lakes, ponds, it doesn't matter. A bladed jig is a deadly tool for bass. And the thing about a bladed jig is, like I said, I love to throw it, but I have started throwing it on a specific kind of rod that I think can make a big difference in whether you put fish into the boat, bank, or kayak or not because of some attributes about the bladed jig. And so in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about the rod that I use and why I use it. So personally, I use a fiberglass based fishing rod for my bladed jig. So when I say that, I mean the type of rods that you would normally associate with fishing like a crankbait or other treble hook style baits. Now, for you guys that don't know what those types of rods are, what you'll see a lot of the times on the internet, and especially with my videos over on Alex Red Fishing, is that when I set the hook into a crankbait fish, my rod is gonna bend way down into the blank. Like I'll bend that rod almost sometimes to the last guide on the blank. And what that does is that bend in that rod helps to absorb a lot of the shock of that hook set, and it helps to drive in treble hooks versus ripping them out. So like when you think about like a jig, a jig is one big single hook. I know bladed jigs one big single hook, but I'll explain here in a minute. And like when you're dragging that thing across the bottom and something grabs it, you want to be able to drive that one big hook straight into their face. And so a faster action rod, something with not as much bend, helps you really drive that hook in. But when you think about like a crankbait or something with treble hooks, you've got six little bitty hooks. And what'll happen is if you fish too fast of an action a rod, you'll actually just rip those hooks out of those fish's face versus driving them in. And so having a rod with a lot more bend in it, a lot more parabolic bend is what that's called actually helps to drive those hooks in versus ripping them out now i know what you're saying alex you're contradicting yourself because a bladed jig has one big hook in it and that is very true but a bladed jig also does a couple things that other big single hook baits don't do like when you're dragging a jig. Number one, it's swimming through the water. Now, you're, this thing's gonna be moving, here it comes, that blade's gonna be working, it's gonna be kinda hunting all over the place, and so this bait is moving away from those fish. Another thing that those very parabolic rods do is it helps the fish to get a hold of the bait, and you have kinda less reaction time, because there's not, I wouldn't say less sensitivity there, but what the, the rod does is, you'll watch that rod tip, is it's kinda constantly going towards the bait, and when a fish bites it, it will let that fish have the bait because it, that rod is going to bend when that fish actually bites the bait. And so it allows the fish to really get a hold of it before you set the hook into it. And so that little bit of delay when this bait's coming through the water really fast and that fish runs up behind it, it allows that fish to really get a hold of it really, really good before you actually set the hook into them. And so that little bit of a delay in that rod will say, and there's even rod companies that call certain rods like the delay series, meaning it kind of delays lays that process of setting the hook is because that rod kind of gives in before you actually set the hook. The next thing is going to be the blade. Now, I think this blade, and I've seen this happen in person, um, anecdotal to me, but I've seen it. A fish will come up and they'll engulf this bait from behind. And if you're using too fast of an action a rod, what will actually happen is that blade will pop up really, really fast. And just like you saw my fingers have to come up there, you can actually pop that fish's mouth open. And I think sometimes you pop that fish's mouth open, they kind of, you know, let go of it out of just, I'm sure it startles them. And you can actually pull that bladed jig away from that fish or not get a good hook in. I actually witnessed it myself in another rod that I was using for bladed jigs. It was like a medium heavy, uh, moderate fast to fax action rod. And I actually set the hook. And when I set the hook, that rod loaded just a little bit too quickly. And I saw that fish's mouth pop open, that bladed jig comes shooting out, and I just totally missed the fish. Another fish, same rod, I hooked him, I watched his mouth pop open because he ate it right at the boat, and I hooked him just right in the front of the mouth. That hook barely got him. And when I switched to a more parabolic rod, I think what happens is when that fish engulfs it, that rod kind of has a little bit of give and really lets that fish get a hold of it, and then you load into it just like with a treble hook bait. You're not ripping or popping that blade away from it. You're simply just kind of loading that hook in, getting that blade to pull, and then that hook pulls right into those fish's face. And when I switched over to that more modern action parabolic rod, I started driving hooks into those fish's face versus ripping them out. And if you want to see this in action, click this video that's popping up right here.